Welcome to Mr. Woods Teaches. I'm Fred Woods, ready to teach. What you will learn about the following experiment is the behavior of magnetism with different materials. Hi fellow scientists, welcome to Mr. Woods Teaches Magnetism. Hey, we're on station three today and we're going to be looking at different things. So I want to go over a few things with you first. So if you can, fill out something like this. It's a KWL chart. So we're going to have three columns in KWL. And that stands for what I know, what I want to know, and what I want to learn. So, and then you write down what you know. So something like metal is attracted to magnets, or magnets are attracted to metal. What I want to know are all metals attracted to magnets. Hmm. You know, we're going to look at a few other things on that too. And then what I've learned. So at the end of this station, this magnetism station, fill out what you've learned, okay? So the materials, I have a US dollar coin right here, a game token, a piece of wood, a screw, copper wire, tin can, a piece of aluminum, some plastic, and paper. We're going to be using that with the experiment. And then I'm going to extend it a little bit. And we're going to use this cup, which is a plastic cup, and another magnet. All right. So I have here. I have this piece of dowel, that's a round piece of wood, and I have some string, and I have a horseshoe magnet uh, underneath it. So if I use this piece of metal or other magnet, see how I can manipulate it and such. So they're magnetized. We know that it's that there's a magnet there. It has um, a uh, uh, magnetic force there. Next up, let's take first. So first thing, I want to say, okay, is this U.S. dollar coin? Okay, let's take a look at it here. Is that magnetic? Now, what do you think about that? What do you know about coins? And what do you wonder? So, let's take a look. Let's see if this is magnetic. No, I'm not, I'm not getting a feel for that. So, it's not affecting the uh, magnet at all. And it's not magnetized. So, we can put that into we now know, well, you know, that this, that this is a piece of metal, it is not magnetic. I have a game token. Let's take a look at that game token. So we have this game token, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to put this underneath the magnet and see if it's magnetized. No, it's not either. Hmm, I wonder why the game token isn't like a piece of metal that's, that can be magnetized. That could be for another experiment at another time. How about wood? Is wood magnetized? Well, no. Look at that. Alright, next up, I have a screw. Now, this is a metal screw. It, it looks gold like a piece of brass, but it's not. It's, it's, a, it's a real, it's a steel screw. And I'm going to, see, let's take a look at that. So here's this screw. Now let's take a look. Is it gonna, can it affect, oh, look at that. See how, I didn't even have to touch it, and it's, there we go, let's look at the other side. There we, wow. That is definitely magnetic material. It's some sort of a steel screw, and it has enough uh, magnetic material in it to where the magnet is attracted to it, or the screw is attracted to the magnet. Okay. Next up, we have the copper wire. Now, this is like the type of wire that's inside your house, and it conducts electricity. So, what conducts electricity is that magnetic as well. What do you think? Well, let's test it out. Hmm. It's not magnetic at all. However, it can be used to create a magnet. You can look that up. All right, next up, I have a tin can. See this tin can? There we go. It's pretty big, but do you think this small magnet can hold it up? 
do you think it is magnetized as well? Let's take, oh, did you see that? Look at that. And it, it actually is, it, there's a gap in here between the table and the can, so it is being suspended by the magnet. Have you ever seen like at a junkyard or anything, there's this big machine that comes down and it, and it has like a, it has a large electromagnet mag, on it and it picks up cars and other parts like that. Kind of the same principle here, so look at that. Wow, that's pretty neat. Okay, we have aluminum foil. This is something like, you know, your mom may put it down on a cookie sheet or your dad may use it for um, wrapping stuff with. And, now, but let's take a look. What are your thoughts on that? Is this magnetic material? Well, let's take a look. I'm going to stop this. Here's the aluminum foil and... No. Oh. That's a piece of metal that is non-magnetic. You hear that word? Non-magnetic. Hmm. So we know that that is not magnetic. And then I have a piece of plastic. It's shaped like a heart, but it's a piece of plastic. Let's see here. No, nope, no, there's nothing reacting there. And then I have paper as well. Nothing here. Now here's another test that we can do is I want you to do, if you can set something up like this, is will something that's uh, magnetic, can it be held up even though that has a barrier like a piece of paper? Let's take a look. Whoa! Look at that. See, I have a screw on one side and it's separated by paper and the magnet is holding it up. That's pretty neat. I wonder if it can hold up through the aluminum foil. So I have aluminum foil here. Look at that. Same response. I get So the magnetic field can go through that aluminum foil. Now how many, how, how thick can you make that aluminum foil to where it loses the magnetism going through it. That's something for you to try out. Okay, how about a piece of wood? Now, this magnet may not be as powerful as others, so I'm going to try something else. I'm going to, I have another magnet here. See how it, there, and I'm going to see if it'll go through this piece of wood here. Um, it, it kinda, oh, there we go. So we can see how it works there. Look at that. So the screw is staying on the wood, even though that I take the magnet away and it drops. That's pretty interesting. That's kind of cool. So I'm going to, again, I want to use this plastic cup. I'm going to put this other magnet in there. Look at that. This completes station number three for using the, uh, the suspended magnet. Now, so now, what did you learn about the behavior of these different materials? Take a look at your sheet and fit, com fit complete the, you know, what you, what you know, you already have that done, what you wanted to know, and then what you learned. And then underneath that or on another piece of paper, you can write down your noticings, you know. I noticed that the screw can be held by a magnet through a piece of wood. Or, gosh, I wonder what material the game token and the US dollar coin are made of that are not magnetic. Remember, to be a scientist, all you have to be is a person that does science. Like, share, comment, and subscribe to Mr. Witz Teaches.